What's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. And the pre-judging for the 2024 Arnold Classic Ohio just wrapped up. So there was a couple things we needed to talk about here. It kind of went in one way, the way that we expected. And in some ways, it didn't. So let's start with the first call out here from left to right. You've got James Hollingshead, Antoine Viant, Samson Dowda and Hadi dead in the middle, Raphael Brandau, in John De La Rosa. So that looks to be your top six. And again, this was the first call out. So in a way, the top three looks to be kind of what we expected. And that's going to include Samson Hottie. And I believe at this point, Raphael. But you got to take your hat off to Antoine Vaillant, James Hollingshead, and John De La Rosa. We talked about this a lot leading up to the show. Is third place in that third through sixth place it really could be any of, the, any of these guys. And I think I was most impressed that Antoine made the cut, that Antoine's going to be in the top six here. So it's interesting, John De La Rosa in here too. This is one of the better versions of John I think I've ever seen from a conditioning standpoint. And we talked about that going into the show, some of the updates that we saw during this past week of John in the hotel room, in the gym, in that good lighting. His conditioning looked really good. I think, you know, on par with, James and Hottie for maybe the best conditioned guys in this top six. Um, so I think I think looking at this, if we're, if we're talking about the outside of the top three, I would say Antoine is looking probably like sixth place. James looks like fifth. And fourth place and third place seems like a little bit of a toss-up. They did a couple other call-outs with these guys. I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be John in fourth and Raphael in third. I think it's really close between the two because John is obviously razor sharp conditioning here. I think definitely sharper than what we're seeing from Raphael. But Raphael is bigger and he's got a little bit more of an impressive, more muscular physique. And when they did the call outs, the, subsequ the subsequent call outs after this, they had Raphael in the center pretty much the entire time, which would suggest they have Raphael in third and they're comparing the other guys against him. But I still think that third place spot could be kind of a toss up between him and John De La Rosa. I was a bit surprised to not see Horse MD in this first call out. You didn't see Justin, you didn't see Akeem, but you did get a really nice variety of guys in here. I think. You know, James conditioning was awesome. I think the one thing holding him back was kind of his midsection. His abs did look um, a little bit washed out, kind of blurry. Didn't really have that deep separation, which we kind of already knew. It's kind of a thing with James that we, we kind of anticipated here. Antoine, really conditioned. Uh, I think he put on a little bit more size in his upper body. He's always had, you know, these really big legs, but his upper body never really quite matched. I think he kind of filled out his upper body a little bit more, came with really good conditioning, and I think that's why he's going to land in the top six. And overall, I think those placings, third through sixth, are going to be really tight. I think that's going to be really close between each of those placings. But I do think, like I said, I think it's going to be Raphael third. I think it's going to be John in fourth. And I, get, I, I think James in fifth and Antoine sixth, but I think those could swap too because they move those guys around a little bit in the later call-outs. But I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with James in fifth and Antoine in sixth. Now the top two for the win, pretty much what we expected here. This is what we've been talking about for basically the majority of the build up to this show. Is that this was gonna be the Hottie and Samson show? That it was gonna be between those two, and that's exactly what we got. I think we got three full rounds of just the two of them posing. So it looks like at least the judges see it as close between Samson and Hottie. But to be completely honest with you guys, as I was watching this, I feel like Hottie's got this. I think Hottie's conditioning here is just too overwhelming. I, I think he looks honestly significantly better than he looked at the Olympia when he, when he lost to Derek. And I think if I'm Derek Lunsford watching this, I'm probably a little bit worried watching this. I think if Hottie looked like this at the Olympia, it might've been a different story because Hadi looks bigger here. His conditioning looks better. The poses that Derek beat Hadi in at the Olympia that were, I think, the tipping point for Derek taking that title home. The back poses, which is Derek's, you know, that's his strong point. That's really where he excels. And I think Hadi, I think that's where Hadi nailed Samson here. Hadi's back shots were really impressive and I think really improved. 
And that's not to that's not to say I don't think Samson looked good here because he did. I thought Samson looked good. He looked impressive. He looks shapely like he always does. He looks big. He's tall. He's got a lot of nice stage presence. He's very aesthetic for a bigger guy that's you know close to 300 pounds, maybe 300 pounds on stage or somewhere around there. But honestly, I'm looking at this and I just I I don't see an improvement in the conditioning of Samson. I think that was the factor that let Hottie beat Samson at the Olympia is Samson might be a little bit shapelier, a little bit more pleasing to look at than Hottie, but Hottie's conditioning just overwhelms him because Samson doesn't have that same level of crisp, just really razor sharp detail that Hottie seems to have. And like I said, I feel that Hottie looks better here than he looked at the Olympia in terms of both size and conditioning. I think Samson maybe looks a little bigger here than he looked at the Olympia. So I think Samson may have improved when it comes to size. But honestly, the conditioning from Samson looks to me about the same as the Olympia. So if Hottie beat him at the Olympia the last time they went head to head and Hottie looks better now, in my opinion, at this Arnold, I think Hottie's winning this. I think Hottie's walking away with this thing. And it, it, it seems like the judges think it's close. I say that because they did so many rounds of just the two of them posing. So it must not be like a blowout for Hottie. It must be close. But with the, with the difference in conditioning here, I think it's just so noticeable. Even if you prefer Samson's shape, if you prefer the aesthetic look of his physique, Hottie's aesthetic too. I mean, Hottie can pull a deep vacuum. His waist looks small in a lot of those front poses. Um, so while you might prefer Samson, while you might say Samson is more aesthetic and a little bit more pleasing to look at than Hottie, maybe you would say Hottie is blocky or whatever. I think the conditioning difference is just too much of a factor here. I mean, Hottie is clearly on another level of conditioning than Samson. It's, it's like they're on two different playing fields. And again, I'm not saying Samson's conditioning is bad. For Samson, this is pretty good conditioning. But to face somebody like Hottie, I just I, I don't see where this would be enough. And I would be really surprised, honestly, if Samson wins this because Hottie, to me, this looks like uh, this looks like one of the best. I don't want to say the best version of Hottie, but it's certainly better than the last Olympia, and I think one of the best that we've seen from him in a few years now. This, this is a really really tight version of Hottie. And I think, like we said going into this show, Hottie came in here with a chip on his shoulder. He lost his Olympia title. He had something to prove. And I think uh, he came here and proved that point. So after watching this prejudging, I'm going to say Hottie first, Samson second, Raphael third, um, John Del Rosa fourth, James Hollingshead fifth, and Antoine Vaillant in sixth. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What are your predictions for this show based on what you saw here at Prejudging? And as always, like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. I love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Nick Strength and Power, signing out. All right, guys, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy the content. Also, check out my Instagram, at Nick Strength Power. My Facebook page, which is simply Nick Strength and Power. My secondary YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Vlogs, for vlogs and bonus content that you will not see on this channel. And consider subscribing to my third YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Pokemon, which is all things Pokemon and trading card games completely unrelated to this channel. So if you're into that, give that one a look. And all links to merchandise and social media will be in the description box below. If you guys want a Nick Strength and Power t-shirt, that will be in the Shopify link below. Have a great day.